<laughs> delicious. Oh shit, my camera's falling. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, oh no, 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 my camera. What are you doing, camera? Oh no, <laughs> camera. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of FPS Weekly. I am Logical, and we are ready for some news. I am like super jacked on caffeine right now because a lot of you, I don't know, there weren't any comments on the video, but I can probably tell that a lot of you last week were like, well, this guy is like super tired and boring and this is like not interesting at all. Well, guess what? I have eaten basically a spoonful of raw coffee, which is like a straight up injection of caffeine. And I am now drinking, uh, I just finished off at one mug of coffee and I'm on my second mug of coffee. Yay! So, yes, excellent. Lots of caffeine, lots of energy right now. Stories! Important! No Man's Sky apparently has very impressive weather, rain, fog, all that, all that bedazzling shit. We have, we have seen it now. It's in No Man's Sky. They have done extremely incredible stuff with it. There is still no release date given for the game, but we have weather, and weather is super, 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 super important. Yes, I am so jacked right now. This is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I can do exactly like 17,543 things at once. Yeah, <sighs> it's amazing. Really, really is, really is, really is a buzz. Really is a, a straight up, straight up buzz that is like excellent, and you guys really should get into it. But yeah, so that's what's going on with No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has weather effects. Yay, No Man's Sky! In our next news story, if you are curious about how things work in the Fallout universe, at least in Fallout 3, which had a very bizarre engine called Gamebryo, and you are curious about how the trains moved around when there were no moving vehicles inside the rest of the game, well, this is how it was done. It turns out that they were actually. Hats for NPCs that were stuck in the ground. So, like, logistically, that sounds absolutely horrible, and I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but yes, apparently, that's what the developers at Bethesda, those clever, clever guys, that's what they came up with in order to get, get a, the, the, the illusion of a, of a moving object inside Fallout 3, is that they had hats, train hat things for NPCs, and that is just in itself hilarious. I can't even understand that. Yes, okay. So, that's what's going on with Fallout 3. Fallout 3 does that. But uh, Fallout 4, I think, uh, at least should be working with a more advanced engine that is actually capable of rendering moving vehicular objects. So we don't know, but we should be seeing soon. <laughs> I am like a mad scientist right now. This is awesome. So, if you guys like sniping and you like sniping and doing sniping, sniping y stuff, and you're a fan of the Sniper Ghost Warrior series, and great news! Apparently, there is Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. That is now a thing! I have not played any of the Sniper Ghost Warrior games, which, knowing me and knowing the fact that I'm a sniper in most games that I like to play with first person shooter stuff, probably should be something that I should get into. Perhaps. I don't know. I haven't even tried Sniper Elite. What do you know? I'm just like, stuff, stuff to do. So many things to do right now. But, uh, yeah, so it's like, uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Uh, we're having some, uh, some gameplay of it that's uh, going on, uh, this is right up, uh, right here. Well, right here. Whichever order I'm going with, I don't really know right now. I am so jacked. <laughs> I said it like three times now, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. As long as this is interesting and fascinating and not boring, dry, logical, who is tired and depressed and does, does the weekly news for you. So, yes. That bird goes for your three. Has that going on for it? Hooray. Ooh, another news story that is that has come up out of the, 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 the framework. Black Ops 3, the multiplayer beta, is now a month away, which is fantastic. Well, it's a month away pretty much for uh, PS4 people, like myself. We'll be able to get the, the beta a week, a little, like uh, like a few days early. And then the Xbox One and PC will get a little, little after on August 26th. So the PS4 is it a little, little bit earlier, like August 23rd or 24th, I don't really know. That's uh, one of those two dates. Don't quote me on that. And then uh, Xbox One and PC will get the game, uh, the beta, a little bit later. And then the actual game comes out in November, of course. So, yes, Black Ops 3. Hooray! For all you Fallout fans out there, we have a new announcement from Bethesda, which is a pretty cool thing. It's the Fallout Anthology. And it's like this like special edition, like collectible edition thing. It's like a bomb thing with the Fallout games all stacked inside it in steel cases and clever artwork and, and it's amazing and, and frickin' awesome and everyone loves it. Or at least I think everyone's gonna love it. And it's for a low, low price of only fifty dollars. Considering that it is an electronic bombshell that has all the games inside it, and it actually makes noise. How cool is that? Right? Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. Next up, Rise of the Triad 2. 
case you're wondering, Rise of the Triad was originally a game that came out in the 90s for DOS, and it was like one of the first first person shooters available on DOS. It came, I think, like it was like fourth met in that, 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 that row. First it was like, it was, it was Wolfenstein, right? And then, then it was Doom. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then, I think, wait, and then Rise of the Triad came out, or came out like before, or whatever. But basically, Rise of the Triad was rebooted two years ago in something that did moderately well. It wasn't like a blown out success or whatever. <laughs> and people, people enjoyed it, but, but uh, and apparently the developers are teasing like a, uh, a uh, Rise of the Triad 2 thing, which might be happening now, so... Dunno! You're gonna have to check that out, that's gonna be awesome! Hope you guys enjoy that! And for our final news story of the week, apparently Doom's coolest new gun is a gun that is sprint-powered, whatever that means. Apparently it's like, running! Charges up the gun! Don't know! But that's something that you have to check out right now. Uh, check it out, all that stuff right there, do it right now. I don't know how to personify that to you other than it's a gun that is sprint powered. I literally cannot speak more than that. So yeah, just in, uh, just enjoy it. And as always, all the links to all the articles are always in the description down below, so be sure to check them out one at a time. Or all at once, use up tons of memory in Chrome, whichever floats your boat. This is Logical, and I will see you guys next week. If you like me being jacked up on caffeine when I do these things, let me know, and I will do so again. Bye-bye.